Hey, welcome back. I'm going to show you some of uh, Kenshi's uh, recent update and crap like that, right? Now, please note that this is experimental 0.98.0, which was released, and it's in the experimental thingy. So you actually won't get an update unless you're opting in on the experimental build. And a train's going by my house the exact same time I have to do this update, but that's okay. There were a number of things that have that were broken with this new update. These are them. They were fixed. Uh, some crashes and stuff. So if you did get into that experimental uh, build, you can actually get fixed. Some of this stuff has been fixed, okay? All right. I really just wanted to go over some of the big features. I'm not going to go touch on everything here. But uh, for the Let's Play, I just want to do a little update. And uh, the Let's Play will be starting as soon as it goes from the experimental to stable. All right. And they'll release it to the general public. All right. So the Let's Play will be continuing. All right. When we'll, when limbs go below minus 100 damage, that limb gets amputated. Mmm. Moss legs mean you have to crawl on the floor, boy. Our legs get damaged past your KO point. Makes you crawl on the floor until they get bandaged. Mm-hmm. Robot limbs be added and remove that skeleton bed. Mm-hmm. All right, robot limbs affect your stance in various ways. I'm just kind of wondering, uh, the, the different robot limbs affect it in different ways. Like maybe one gives you more speed or what that, that works. If anyone's played the experimental build, let me know. I don't know. That'd be interesting. Maybe build it for speed or build it for armor or build it for more damage. I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming these are probably made at the same place you make the robot repair stuff, right? I don't know. All right, uh, you were crawling around the floor really badly. Uh, Something about prone around. Okay, your amputated limb goes flying through the, through the air. Dogs will run off with it. They will run off with it. And there's another interesting little thing down here. Here we go. If you have your pet dog finds a limb, he will get on the fence and keep running away with it until he eats it. Only happens with young dogs. Don't worry about it. He will eventually grow out of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, limb loss can be reduced or disabled in the options. You can. So if you just don't want to have your limbs chopped off, and I think, I'm going to be honest with you, it takes a lot. Minus 100 damage, unless you're really, uh, you know, unless you're really bad and getting really, like, your butt really handed to you out in the middle of nowhere and you can't get to some place to get healed up at least a little bit out of danger's way. It's doubtful this is really going to come into play a whole lot. I'm going to be honest with you. So, yeah. But for those of you that are a little bit squeamish on the limb loss stuff, uh, you can turn that off in the options. All right, flipping crossbows. I don't know why they flip. They just they're flipping. All right, there's gonna be crossbow shops all over the freaking world. Uh, you need ammo and crap too. You can actually make ammo at your base. I don't know if this is like a at the weapons uh, station or what. Uh, blood. Blood's been added, but I had heard something that blood was put going to be pushed back to the next release when they release the map. The map is not released in this. Okay. The last quarter of the map has not been released. Now, my understanding was blood was going to be held back because it was uh, there were issues with the blood. But it's saying here that blood is in it. So I don't know. I haven't played the experimental build. Some of you guys may know, but we'll find out, right? Okay. Blood pools around the ground, crawling around, bleeding people have a bloody slug trail behind them. So fun. Okay. Uh, 18 new beards, 17 new hairs added to the game. I don't know how high this is under the blood section, but it just is. Maybe because you got bloody beards and bloody hair. I don't really know. I think this is the guy that made the mod that has added in a lot of those, um, a lot of those hairs. So I think they just, I don't know. They got, they must have just added them in. All right. New hand painted inventory item icons. That was another mod. Thank you, Diago Santos and Arkel for those mods that are now, now, they're now baseline, I guess. So I guess I got to get used to this whole new inventory system because I didn't actually sign up for that mod. So, all right. Uh, some roaming bandit squads will assault your base and attempt to capture. If they win, they will throw you out and live there themselves. Use your stuff. Eat all your food. You will have to remove them by force and get your base back. All right. So that means when you go out on a little, a little experiment, like, a, you know, like you're doing like all kind of crap, like you're going on a little adventure. You might want to leave behind about half your forces or something, you know what I'm saying? That's maybe why you might actually want two squads rather than one. I know for the current Let's Play, I'm kind of doing just one, but I may have to consider leaving some guys behind them just to, you know, defend against bandits or something, you know what I'm saying? All right, uh, hold button replaces the passive button. What does that mean? Uh, hold button replaces the passive button. 
I think this is for your AI, for your character. Hold. Just put your characters into hold position mode. Stops your characters running off to fight. But now they st they still fight anything that comes in range. You can use this to position melee guys tactically to protect your bow units, for example, or guard them. This is actually pretty good. Now, the fact that it replaces passive is a little odd, but... Um... Nah, I don't know. I think it, I think it's going to be a... That's going to change for the better. All right, other features. More features! When playing dead, you can switch to stealth mode and run around on the ground and then patch people up with the first aid. Okay, the travel shops. No, so tent blueprints. Oh, yeah, we got tents in the game. It will protect you from acid rain when you're camping. So if you're going through that robot area with all acid rain, the tent might be useful for that, okay? Because you will die. You will die horribly. Uh, slavers and trader guilds have zero relationships multipliers, so fighting them causes less relations loss. But they will assign bounties to you instead. So I guess... Uh, so I guess if a slaver does pick you up and you like decide, oh hey, get away from me, I want to rescue my guys from the slavers, you're not really going to take like any kind of a really massive hit in your relationship with the slavers. Swearing filter is removed from game, or that's something in the options. Uh, but still available. In, oh, it's still available in the options. It's removed from the game, but available in options. Okay. Hivers now have proper face morphs. Okay, so if you're going to have a hiver, guys, you can actually ma manipulate their faces now rather than just uh, giving them the generic faces. And it says, it says here they're pretty funny. It makes them funny looking hivers, I guess. I don't know. When placing buildings, ramps can automatically change to the correct buildings for the snap target. I don't quite know what that means, but I'll figure that out. Uh, bandits now loot more food and take meat from downed animals. Bandits will do this now, all right? meaning they will eat your dog. Me, personally, I don't like that too much. Makes me not want to have a dog. <laughs> Idle characters now sit around on chairs in your home base. So they want to stand there and spot, like, you know, uh, getting herniated discs in their lower back like I do. Uh, standing on their, their legs all day long, they'll actually go to a chair and sit in it. Looks nice and is nice and looks handy to keep blah, blah, blah. Okay, using training equipment. Can now be set to a perma job. Yeah, that's all right, I guess. Confirmation message added to when stealing items to prevent accidents. That's good. You keep buying crap and stuff like that. Perception and precision. These are for the crossbow thing, guys. Okay, well, I'm gonna read those. Uh, affects accuracy and shooting in general, and affects friendly fire chance. Precision. So I guess they're kind of important. Lock picking stat added. That's actually now separate from thievery. So, that'll have to be leveled up. Alright, this means characters can really become specialized as thieves as a result of escaping cages. Well, they didn't, they didn't like that, so... This is now a separate stat. Alright, so, thievery stat XP rate is doubled to compensate for the stat division. Lock picking rate is the same. Crossbow smithing stat added to... Oh, that's a whole separate smithing thing now. Alright, got some other tweaks here. New AI sensory system changes. Your scout now rely on line of sight, which should hopefully stop them from running off over the hills to fight enemies. That's going to help with some of those complaints I had about some of the pathing AI. The Fog Islands have better natural resources, some nicer place to build. Uh, damage robot limbs don't degenerate. That's odd. I almost would have them degenerate, but I don't know. Whatever. You now get a combat XP bonus when a character fights outnumbered. So, finding out numbers is actually going to be a good way to level up. Disguises don't count as disguises unless they've reached over 40%. Skimmers are less edible. <laughs> Which I mean, probably means less meat drops off them. Alright. Strong new recruits is now weaker because that's the spirit of the game. I don't really understand what that actually affects, but alright. Change of death default increased 20%. You guys aren't dying enough. Alright. <laughs> I don't really need that, but that's whatever you want. I guess if you're really skirting on death's edge there, you might end up dying a lot more often now. I don't know. You can now camp indoors in old buildings and ruins. Overall XP, toughness XP reduced by 28%. Campfire is now automatic cooking. So I guess you just throw your food in and just bing, and just starts cooking it. Alright, good. Animals age two times slower. Robots and robotic limbs is now healed instantly, but where damage rate has been doubled and first aid speed is the one third slower. Economic balance. Weapons and armor are now almost. Uh, I don't want to read all this stuff. Beefed up the Armor King's security. Remember, we ran into him in the previous season. 
gear loot sell prices okay now there is some changes here with the gear prices you can't make as much money off of making and selling weapons but it, i think it's uh and some things require more materials blah 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 animal skins worth more money blah 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 prices uh see i'm, I'm going slow here you can read these if you just don't want to listen to me talk food prices gone up because of brexit yeah i don't know that's, that's stupid but okay shops closed two hours later that's pretty good stop uh blah, blah, blah. armor blueprints more expensive Chain mills use less profitable. Big thing nest. Add more eggs, so these should be more profitable. There's a lot of fixes here. I'm not gonna read all of them, but let's let's just let me just um here. If you want to pause and read it, you can right now. Just hit the pause button, read them. I'm gonna go down a little bit further here to the next part. Blah 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 blah. You ready to read that? Pause it and read that. Now, as far as my let's play goes, it's gonna be starting up as soon as it hits stable, and I'm able to download it from Steam as normal. I'm not gonna I'm not playing around with the experimental builds, it's still buggy. So whenever this gets uploaded, which hopefully will just be like in a week or two, you know, I don't know how long it's gonna take for them to go through this. Maybe only a couple days, I don't know. And I'll start making episodes again. So I just wanna tell people that I am using a mod. I I know I said I was never gonna use a mod, but I did put a mod in to be able to get um some robot guys. So when we come back, you're gonna see like four or five new guys I think I got. That are all robots, uh, skeletons, sorry. So, just so that's not a big shock to you when I'm coming back. And I did some changes to my base. I haven't done a whole lot. Um, before I did put that mod in, I did legitimately try to get the robot, uh, robot recruits by spreading my guys out to different um, taverns in different towns. And then importing over and over again see if some of them like a robot would start off there or something and i heard some things and i did this in towns where they were known to have frequented before by other people it's just apparently they're just not a thing you just, either you have to you either have to mod them in like what i'm doing or maybe wait to that last quarter of the map to open up so that's so in case you're wondering why when i start up the let's play again why i have robot guys that's why now, whether or not that breaks my save file when this thing comes out, I hopefully it won't. I don't think it would, but I'm really hoping it doesn't. But hopefully it won't. So, all right. Well, I'll see you guys soon. Adios, folks. Hi, I'm super excited to be here today. Hooey. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with you, boy? What's wrong with you, boy?